I served on the National Security Council for nine years, six years as Home Secretary and three as Prime Minister. During that time, I listened to the expert, independent advice from National Security Advisers. On Saturday, my right honourable friend said, we must be able to promote those with proven expertise. Why then is the new National Security Advisor a political appointee with no proven expertise in national security? Well, like the, uh, uh, my right honourable friend, uh, I too uh, 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 want to pay tribute again to Sir Mark, and I appreciate having served in Cabinet when she was Prime Minister, when Sir Mark was Cabinet Secretary, just how much we all owe to him for his distinguished public service. I should also say, I should also say that we have had previous National Security Advisers, all of them excellent, uh, not all of them necessarily people who were steeped in the security world, some of whom were distinguished diplomats in their own right. So David, sorry, David Frost is a distinguished diplomat in his own right, and it is entirely appropriate that the Prime Minister of the day should choose an advisor appropriate to the needs of the hour. Weak Prime Ministers take advice only from those who agree with them. Those who put the national interest first should welcome different views and welcome challenge. So can the Cabinet Office Minister tell us, quite simply, what is the Prime Minister so afraid of and why won't he put his duty to keep people safe first? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm very grateful to uh, the Shadow Home Secretary for his questions. I'm sorry that he didn't find time to thank Sir Mark Sedwell uh, for his service. Okay. I, appreciate, I appreciate his kind words now. He asks about objective and challenging. He asks about objective and challenging advice. Sir David Frost is a distinguished public servant who has spent decades in diplomatic service, and as such, as such, has given advice to Labour and Conservative governments without fear or favour. There is no suggestion that Sir David is anything other than an exemplary public servant, capable of discharging his duties and responsibilities with authority, integrity, um, and in a way which will guarantee the safety and security of all. Uh, he is, of course, accountable to the Prime Minister, and he will operate as other special envoys have. It is not a novelty, as the Honourable Gentleman implied, to create special envoys under Labour, and Clewid was made a special envoy in human rights in Iraq. Des Brown was a special envoy on Sri Lanka, and of course Michael, Michael Levy was made special envoy to the Middle East. In each of these roles, appropriate political appointments were made. The Honourable Gentleman also asked about the First Civil Service Commissioner. The First Civil Service Commissioner, as I pointed out in my remarks, has agreed that it is entirely appropriate for this role to be carried out by a political appointee. I think it's important that all of us recognise that Prime Ministers, whether of Labour, Conservative or any colour, should have confidence in those advising them, and those advising them should also operate in a way which is true to the highest traditions of public service. That has always been the way in which David Frost and Sir Mark have carried out their duties, and I'm confident that will be the case for the National Security Advisor in the future and for the future Cabinet Secretary.